Uh, very excited uh, to get the player we're able to get at number 30. Uh, as we sat there and watched the board unfold, uh, he was the highest rated player on our draft board at the time. And the one philosophy that we've uh, always going to do is uh, follow that board to how we have it developed. And uh, as we sat there and watched Mike fall down, I know corners are a premium here. I know as we sit there and go through our meetings, what Coach Zim looks for in the traits to play corner in this position. Uh, I know also what he brings uh, as a potential uh, returner and what he does on special teams. So he brings a lot of value to us uh, in the numerous areas. And uh, can't tell you how excited we are to get him where we're able to get him at number 30. Questions? You talk about the value of him. Do you look at him as a versatile guy that could play in the boundary or in the slot? We spent a lot of time with him. Uh, you know, we visited with him at the combine. He was here on the top 30. Uh, we were down there in his workout, uh, and he brings the versatility. And one thing that's an emphasis here uh, is the ability to play multiple positions. And he can play outside. He can play inside. Uh, he can play on special teams. He can be a returner. So. This player was just too much value for us not to take it, it where we saw him in the draft. For his size, what impressed you the most about his coverage skills and kind of physical nature, the way he plays the game? The one thing that Coach Zim preaches is the quickness out of his transition, which means out of his back pedal. How quickly can he get to point from point A to point B? And uh, as we sat there and watched the tape together, uh, we felt he was one of the top corners as far as the quickness that we're looking for and to fit in what the requirements are going to be for him from a physical skill standpoint uh, to play in this defense. How many calls did you get regarding possible trades or did you ever come close to making a move? Uh, we, we got a lot of calls, uh, maybe you know five or six picks before us and then uh, we didn't get any calls you know once we were on the clock. Um, but I don't know if we would have traded out with a, what we felt uh, with, with a player of that value at the 30th pick. How do you feel about what's left uh, in the offensive line moving into the second day? I think, you know, there's a lot of depth there. And I know last year uh, we were able to get Pat in the third round. I know looking at the board, there's still a lot of quality depth. Uh, in the offensive line, but there's also a lot of quality depth throughout the rest of the draft. So uh, excited for tomorrow, um, potentially moving up or potentially moving down. We'll see how the board starts to fall in the beginning, um, but I feel very strongly about the depth and some of the players that, uh, that we like.